David, you've done some independent research on the possibility of using high capacity vehicles in the UK. Uh, what's, what have you found in your research? Um, we've done a very thorough uh, study that's looked at various angles related to the use of high capacity vehicles, including whether they'd be more cost effective for users and for the British economy as a whole, as well as looked at whether they'd be environmentally friendly or pose risks to the environment. Mm -hmm. The key findings are that from a cost perspective, um, the UK uh, companies could save millions of pounds a year. In terms of emissions, we also believe that um, uh, there'd be a, a net emissions reduction if such vehicles were used in the UK. Mm. Is this a, uh, would you describe it as independent, unbiased research? Oh, absolutely. The, the study has been sponsored by Kimberly Clark, who are a large uh, manufacturer of personal care products. Mm. Um, they've had no editorial input into the study at all, and we've been very, very prudent in terms of the assumptions that we've made to make sure they're entirely valid and accurate, um, so the uh, study can't really be contested on those grounds. The high capacity vehicles wouldn't be used for every type of product, they, they'd be really um, uh, mass-produced consumables would they? Is that it? Uh, absolutely, Isn't high capacity vehicles is uh, very much suited to moving large quantities of lightweight goods, so we're talking about products such as uh, tissues, cereals, snack foods, those kind of commodities uh, that move in large quantities and are consumed in large quantities, um, but are relatively lightweight and can use the full capacity of the vehicle. Not reach those on weight grounds. And, and the vehicles uh, that we're talking about, uh, they are in fact already in use on the continent, uh, I well, believe in, in Holland, is it? Oh, absolutely. The vehicles are currently used in the Netherlands and have been on a 10 year trial uh, period and then were accepted for permanent use by the Dutch government. They've been used in Sweden and uh, in Finland since the 1970s. Uh, they've been trialled in Denmark and are currently under trial in Denmark. And there are moves afoot to trial similar vehicles in Germany at the moment. So starting to get a wide footprint across the European Union. And have they had problems in any way with the vehicles? Um, when you introduce any sort of new change, there's always opposition. Um, however, the Dutch experience has shown that over time those uh, opponents have accepted that the, uh, the case for the use of such vehicles is proven and they are contributing to the Dutch economy. Uh, after 10 years, the Dutch government agreed for their permanent use um, within the borders of the Netherlands. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.